Thomas Tuchel, Chelsea may need to make unfair selection decision against Wolves. Thomas Tuchel has revealed Chelsea could be forced into making an unfair decision when their starting eleven to face Wolves is selected. Chelsea travel to the West Midlands on Sunday afternoon in their final league outing before Christmas. Tuchel will be hoping claim a festive win to get back to winning ways after a dismal 1-1 draw against a depleted Everton on Thursday night at Stamford Bridge. But before the challenge on the field, the Blues head coach has several decisions to make regarding personal at the weekend. Due to four players being confirmed out due to COVID-19 Ben Chilwell, Romelu Lukaku, Timo Werner and Callum Hudson-Odoi, Tuchel will need to shuffle the pack to give the Blues the best chance of claiming all three points at Molina. But they could also be without midfield duo Jorginho and Ruben Loftus-Cheek because the pair picked up pain injuries against the Toffees in midweek. Mateo Kovacic has just returned from isolation while Nagolo Kante returned to the bench on Thursday, and they could be rushed back into the starting eleven should Jorginho and Loftus-Cheek be unavailable after they were deemed doubtful. Tuchel is aware the decision would be unfair to throw them into the starting team however could be left with no choice. The Chelsea head coach said ahead of the game in his pre-match press conference, if you want to have my very honest opinion, we have again Jorginho a doubt for Sunday, because he's in pain. We have Ruben Loftus-Cheek a doubt, because he's in pain. So do we know that they can travel with us tomorrow? No we don't. I don't know if it's possible for them to play on Sunday, so maybe we will start with Nagolo and Mateo. Would that be fair? No. Would that be possible? I don't know, but maybe we do. Spurs ready to make lucrative more for Chelsea defender Antonio Rudiger. Tottenham Hotspur are ready to make an audacious move to try to sign Chelsea defender Antonio Rudiger on a free transfer next summer, according to reports. Rudiger, 28, is out of contract at the end of the season and is yet to agree an extension with Chelsea, with both parties far apart on any potential agreement. He has been offered a new deal worth £140,000 a week, while the defender wants a contract worth £200,000 a week. Real Madrid and PSG have held talks with his agent in recent weeks. Real are currently believed to be the frontrunners for his signatures. Manchester United and Bayern Munich have also expressed an interest in the 28-year-old. But Tottenham have also been linked and as per Football Insider, they are pushing hard to land the Germany international and have made contact over a potential deal. Spurs chief Fabio Paratici is in contact with Rudiger's camp and is trying to force an agreement in the new year ahead of a proposed switch across the capital next summer. Daniel Levy is claimed to be willing to pay huge wages due to there being no transfer fee involved. Rudiger is able to agree pre-contracts with foreign clubs from January 1 if no deal is struck with current club Chelsea before the end of the year, which Thomas Tuchel is hoping to do. It's true that nobody is bigger than the club and this is a team effort and a strong club, said Tuchel on Rudiger's future in West London. It's not only about Tony and I mean that in the best way because we know what he's doing and we're fully aware of it. In the end, we need a bit of patience. I have no update right now. Chelsea are interested in signing AC Milan star Theo Hernandez, according to reports. The Blues have been hit by Ben Chilwell's injury in recent weeks. The 24-year-old had been flying this season, scoring three goals in six Premier League outings at left wing back. But the England star hasn't featured in a month after sustaining a knee problem. With fears that he could be a long-term absentee, they could move for an alternative in January. And according to El National, boss Thomas Tuchel wants Chelsea Chiefs to sign Hernandez from Milan. The French fullback, 24, has been brilliant since switching Real Madrid for the San Siro in 2019. The Blues face competition from Paris Saint-Germain, however in securing his signature. The French giants are rumoured to be willing to splash out more than £34 million for Hernandez. His contract in Milan is set to run until 2024. He has made 100 appearances for the Rossoneri, scoring 16 goals and laying on 18 assists. Hernandez would be able to provide great cover for Chilwell, before competing with the former Leicester ace for the role full-time when he's back.
Marcos Alonso is currently filling in, but his mixed performances of late have contributed to Chelsea's current malaise. The Blues drew 1-1 with a severely undermanned Everton at Stamford Bridge on Thursday night, despite having 80% of the ball. Thomas Tuchel's latest Chelsea comments bad news for Saul Niguez. Saul Niguez's loan switch to Chelsea this summer just hasn't worked out. A last-minute loan move on deadline day in the final minute saw him travel to London from Atletico Madrid as he looked to revitalize himself after a frustrating time under Diego Simeon in Madrid. But his struggles and frustrations have continued in the capital. A difficult debut against Aston Villa has led him to making just 12 appearances this season, playing in three positions already this term. He was handed his second Premier League start against Watford at the start of December after his league debut against Aston Villa in September. He struggled in both, and was hooked at half-time on both occasions. It is becoming increasingly clear that Saul's time at Chelsea will not be considered a success for any of the parties involved, club or player. Chelsea have had a midfield crisis in recent weeks due to the injuries of Nagolo Kante and Jorginho, while Mateo Kovacic has been out with injury and COVID-19. The chance was there for Saul, but he couldn't quite grasp it. Everton came to the capital on Thursday night. Saul started on the bench but came on in the 65th minute. Into central midfield, no. Thomas Tuchel deployed him at centre-forward. That just about summed up the situation of Chelsea not knowing what to do with the 27-year-old. He's played in central midfield, at wing back and now in the front three, yet hasn't looked comfortable in any of the positions. This weekend Chelsea are due to play Wolves. Jorginho and Ruben Loftus-Cheek are doubts, while Matteo Kovacic and Nagolo Kante are only just returning from spells on the sidelines. That should see Saul start again. Right? This is unlikely to be the case, and it sums up his blue spell. Tuchel revealed in his pre-match press conference that he may be forced to use Kovacic and Kante from the start should Jorginho and Loftus-Cheek not be available for selection. No mention of Saul by Tuchel leaves it clear that Saul is well down the pecking order at Chelsea, and a player the head coach is unable to rely on even when they are heavily depleted. Saul has been given several chances, but the time will soon come if it hasn't already to accept that it's a loan spell which hasn't, and won't work out the way Chelsea and the midfielder had hoped. The only positive to take away is that it is a loan deal with an option of making the deal permanent, not an obligation. Chelsea will be delighted, even though they won't admit it, that they aren't tied down to signing him on a permanent basis. Thomas Tuchel explains why Thiago Silva plays in middle of Chelsea back three. Thomas Tuchel has delivered his reasoning for playing Thiago Silva in the middle of the Chelsea back three as the Blues try to deal with an ongoing injury and COVID-19 crisis. The 37-year-old has been a mainstay in the Chelsea team this season, becoming a standout even when the Blues are below par. Silva has already made 19 appearances under Tuchel this season in all competitions, 14 of those coming in the Premier League out of a possible 17. Chelsea have been hit with team selection problems for weeks now. They have had to battle with constant injuries, and in recent days several positive COVID-19 cases have hit the camp. Silva is going to be required in the coming games as they battle their way through the festive schedule, as well as for the remainder of the season before his contract expires next summer. Chelsea are yet to agree an extension with the Brazilian over extending his stay in the capital, but it's believed that the 37-year-old will be offered fresh terms to continue with the European champions. He is happy to do so, Tuchel responded to Silva playing more than he may have expected to so far this season, as quoted by the official Chelsea website. He plays in a protected role in the middle of a back three so he is not exposed to the maximum intensity of the match. That suits him and he is a good fit so still, of course, the problem starts with injuries and COVID in the same positions, in the moment, Travo Chalabar, comes back, Andreas Christensen, is there, Cesar, Aspiliqueta can also play in a back three so this is not the area where we are too concerned. We have even the personnel to rotate if we think Thiago needs a break. The concern is in central midfield and up front.
Cesar Aspilicueta and Marcos Alonso are ready to leave Chelsea ahead of 2022 World Cup. Chelsea defenders Cesar Aspilicueta and Marcos Alonso are ready to leave the club to give themselves the best chance of making the Spain squad for the 2022 World Cup, according to reports. The World Cup takes place in Qatar next year and players are already focusing on their places in their respective national squads for the tournament. Aspilicueta is out of contract at the end of the season and is yet to agree a new deal with Chelsea, leaving him currently open to agree a pre-contract with a foreign club from January 1. While Alonso, also of Spanish nationality, is out of contract in 2023, but the pair are ready to depart Stamford Bridge following their latest actions. As per the Transfer Window podcast, the Blues pair have told their representatives to look for new clubs which could offer them regular game time to boost their chances of making the World Cup squad. Whether Chelsea would be open to letting either of the pair go in January remains to be seen, especially due to their current injury and COVID-19 problems within their camp. Chelsea have four defenders out of contract at the end of the season, Aspilicueta, Antonio Rudiger, Andreas Christensen and Thiago Silva, but boss Tuchel isn't concerned by the uncertainty hanging over the quartet. He said earlier this month, all of these players know very well how much we appreciate them, which big role they play in our plans and the presence of this team and this club. They are very aware of it and will not slow it away like this. Of course it is their right now to do things, but it is also their right to stay with us and create a future, to be part of the future of Chelsea Football Club. We are honoured with patience, we are honoured with confidence and we are honoured with a trust and good relationship between the players and the staff, the players and the club. This is how it should be. That is on Chelsea News today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.